Hello everybody, welcome to Erndale's. My name is Dale. Thank you so much for joining me today. Before I get into what's coming up today, I thought I would just say a special thank you to all my new subscribers. I am a little overwhelmed. My YouTube channel seems to be <clears throat> just growing quite a bit lately and I'm very thankful for all your support and your kindness. Your comments have been so uplifting and I really do appreciate all your support. Thank you so much. Um, today I have something totally different for you. I've gone down a different rabbit hole. It's not new to me, but it might be new to you. Um, I have been working all week on something that I have harvested from my garden and it's um, something that I do a lot. All year long I harvest this something and um, this time I thought I would do something creative with that harvest. So I'm going to show you what I've been up to this week. It's been a lot of fun and it's wasted a lot of time that I could have been doing knitting and other things. But, you know, sometimes you just have to break away from the things that you know you have to do and do something that you really want to do. And that's been the kind of week that I've had just playing around with my harvest. So I will show you that in a minute. But before I do that, I just want to tell you a few things. Um, remember, what's that, two or three weeks ago, I planted uh, an amaryllis bulb that I had saved from last year. Well, it's got about that much growth on it now. It took this long for it to get going, and I was starting to think maybe it wasn't going to, but it is, so that's great. And I also bought a new one, which is way ahead of the old one. So I'll show you this at, at the end of the video. And I'll also show you, I have completed the advent calendar for my son. And I'll show you the pile of stuff I have ready to ship. I have a bit of a issue with the shipping because I have a box here that I could use. But if I put everything in that box and I take it to our post office, the charge will be more than if I bought a prepaid box from them. Same size box and everything. I could... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the post office on Monday and I'm going to buy a prepaid box the same size exactly as the one I have here and I'll put it all in there and then I'll take it back and away it'll go and that's one big thing off my mind. Um, it was a fun, fun project to do, get all this stuff together and you'll be seeing everything that I put in that Advent calendar during Advent. We will open it one day at a time just like Jonathan will. So without further ado, here comes this week's madness, and I'll pop in at the end of this, and uh, we'll have a, a little bit more chat. Here we go. I have been pulling stones out of my garden, my gardens, for eight years since we've been here. Every year, I unearth more and more stones when I start my gardening and through the summer and in the fall and for sure any time I do any kind of tilling I'm unearthing stones and so I put them in a bucket and I have buckets all over the property full of stones and I thought perhaps it was time that I did something with these stones. So today I am doing a few little things with stones and I'll show you what I'm up to. I'm painting stones. So it's pretty obvious these are going to be Santas. These are going to be Grinches. And these will be snowmen. But I wanted to kind of just show you um, the basics of this. So all of these stones have been soaked in bleach water for a whole day. And then I've scrubbed them. And then I wash them with soap and water and bleach again. So, you know, some of them might still look a little dirty, but they're not. Um, that's just years and years of, of being in the ground, I think. So now I can paint them. I'm just using regular acrylic paint that I buy probably more so in the dollar store than anywhere. Uh, Walmart, anywhere, you can buy acrylic paint. It's fairly inexpensive. I don't do any prep to the stone. As soon as it's clean, or what I deem clean, then I just start painting. Now, 
this is nothing new for me. I have been painting on rocks and stones for probably about 25, 30 years. And I'll show you a couple of the things that I've done. I have, in my garden, I have thatched cottages, I have barns, I have all kinds of painted things that I did years ago. Some of them, actually I was thinking just before I started this video, that I have to bring some of them in and redo them because the sun fades them. Even if you put a, a protective layer of shellac or something over top of them, over the years the sun does fade them out. So I'm probably going to bring some of those in and redo them this winter. But I'll show you a couple that I have done. These are really old. Excuse my mess here. So here's one. This is just a rock. This great big rock that I painted. I added a little bit of wood filler around here. Now this one has been outside, but I, I brought it in a few years ago because I didn't want it to deteriorate. You can see the dirt still on it from being outside. I need to wash it up and clean it up. So that's one. Here's another one, a little church. This one was in my garden for quite a while too. And you can do anything depending on the shape of the stone. The rounder kind of stones I've done, like I said, thatch cottages, uh, fairy cottages, all kinds of things. So I'm not, this isn't, painting on rocks and stones is not a new thing for me. But I haven't done it in a very long time. Oops. So I just thought I would show you some of the ones I'm doing. So here's a Santa. This is a perfect shape for a Santa. I'll be painting in this line here. I'll be painting a beige because that'll be his face. And I'll probably bring it down a little bit lower. This is just the first coat. I haven't done the back. I did the front so that I knew which would be the front. And then I'll do the back later. So when you're choosing stones for projects like this it's a good thing to like this would make a great santa whoop i dropped it because i'm doing this with one hand i would do it this way and make a nice santa uh, let me see what else this would make a good santa shaped the ones that have a little bit of a curve because you can make his beard look very large that way this would make a good Santa too. Maybe um, I think I would do it this way. His hat would be up here and his beard down here. Here's another good Santa. I would do it this way. Something that's really round like this. This would make a good snowman. Um, actually, if you turned it like this, it would make a great Grinch because he has a... You could put a pouty face right here. It would be great for a Grinch. I might use that one for a Grinch. A little round one like this would make a good snowman. Here's a good Santa one. I would do it this way, put his hat up there and his beard down here. So when you look at the stones, you can, you know, you can just imagine, or I can imagine, maybe not everybody can see what I can see, but I, I worked with stones for such a long time that I see things when I look at them. And even when I'm pulling them out of the garden, I look at them. You know, I, I don't just throw them in the bucket. I look at them first to see what I could do with them. And like I say, I have lots of them. There's a good Santa right there. This way. No. This way. He had a real pointy hat on. So that's what I'm doing today. I'll just give you a little close-up. These ones are all going to be Santas. And if you can see, some of them... Have, here's a 
There's a different one. This was a long, thin one, but I thought it would be really cute. Now I think I will do it this way. Or I could do it this way, but I think I'm going to do it this way. This is a perfect one for a Santa here. Can you almost see where his eyes are going to be? Actually, the stone is telling me, isn't it? You can actually see his eyes right there. You don't have to do anything with it. There's an eye there, there's an eye, and there's his nose. This one is also a perfect Santa. And then I have little wee ones here. Look at this little one. This is a good Santa. Now this, I've started. This is going to be a Grinch. I can just bring my light down a little bit better. There we go. It's going to be a Grinch. I have to get some more green. This is a nice big Grinch. I think he'll be like this. This will be the back and this will be the front. Because of this here, he's going to have a bit of a funny forehead. There's a flat stone, but that's going to be the front of the Grinch. I can see his face there. And the snowmen, they're still wet. I shouldn't even pick them up. They're not quite round, but that's okay. I, I might put a hat on him. Like this snowman might be like this. He might be like this, and then I might put a blue hat on him. We'll see. All the features, of course, have to be drawn on. And I use, um, I have permanent um, paint pens. I have a whole set of them that I use. I use them for a lot of different crafts, but they're going to be perfect for drawing the features on this because they have a very fine tip. And so, but you can also, I'm a firm believer of using Q-tips to paint with um, a lot of these details on these, I'll go get those little, hold on one second. For instance, these shingles here on this roof, I did with toothpick. I just had the color and I just ended, put the end in the toothpick and just used a toothpick to draw all that on. All of this was done with toothpicks, all the fine stuff. This one really needs to have um, even the sides, the lines. That was all done with toothpicks. I didn't have a fine brush and that was this. I did this back in oh, probably the early 90s. There was no such thing as paint pens back then. So I just use a toothpick to draw. So I can do that with these two. We'll see. So that's the fun I'm having today. I don't know, should I do all of these? What am I gonna do with them all? I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them to children. I might take some to the library and leave them there and the librarian can hand them out to the kids in town. They're stones, really. <laughs> You know, they're not valuable, they're just stones. Oh, there's a good Santa right there. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to save some for some children in our family, but the rest I think I'm just going to take down to the library. She has a Wednesday evening with children, and um, I'll just give them to the kids. I think that'll be kind of fun. So I'll bring you along when I start painting the faces on, and we'll see how we go. So I hope you can see this. I forgot to turn the camera on when I was working on this one, but this is uh, the one that I'm going to put in my son's advent calendar, the Santa. Uh, there we go. This is just a rock, just a piece of stone that I hit with my tiller, big piece. And I just like the shape of it. I thought it would work really good as a Santa. And actually it has. I got a little bit more. I have to add a little bit of white 
and I have to take his, well, we can do that right now. I have to take his um, hat trim around here, so we can do that right now. These are the pens that I'm using for the detailing. They are paint markers, Zayer, Z-E-Y-A-R. -Z I got them um, off of Amazon quite a long time ago. I got a whole box full. I'll show you. It came with a whole box of them, every color that you can imagine, and I got a whole bunch down here, too. I actually got them scattered all over the place, but um, they're really good. Uh, they're water-based, but they are permanent. I've used them on, um, if you've seen my horses and my cows, I've used them on those, and... Um, I use them for a lot of different things, but you have to give them a bit of a shake and then you have to push down on the nib a little just to kind of get it going. But what I need to do here is to just outline the uh, fur around the hat. And I'm just, all I'm doing is just scratching it on here because it's not a, it shouldn't be a solid line. It should look more like fur. I'm not an artist, but I do love to fool around with rocks, painting. So the fur is about here. Doesn't matter because this is the back. I'm probably not going to see the back very much anyway. And the light is sort of reflecting what I'm doing. So this rock was changed quite a few times. Um, I started it by just painting the whole thing white and then I painted the hat the red for the hat and then the face got moved a few times um, I wasn't sure because of this part right here I'll show you because of this part right here I wasn't quite sure how the face would work and I've just smeared this all over the place but the nice thing about this is if you make a smear, all you got to do is repaint it. But I'm going to leave it because this is the back. And I need to do a little bit here too. Yeah, so if you make a mistake, you just repaint it. You know, I, I've repainted the white so many times. That's why it looks different in different places. But... He's coming along. I decided to put glasses on him because of the shape, but this is the reason why I better put the cap on here before I make a mess. Just hold on. The reason why I wanted this is because of this ridge here. I thought it made a perfect nose and it actually did make a perfect nose. So this one, I'm just gonna to touch up this white here and I'll let this part at the back dry, and then I might just touch up along here, or I might just leave it. It's the back. And then um, I have to go to, this, to the hardware store and get some Krylon spray or something like that, and then I'm going to give it a good spray, and it'll be done. I have another big one here that I started. See, it's just a flat stone on the back, and it's rounded at the front. And it has, the stone itself had all this rough part here. So I'm going to utilize that rough part as his hair and beard. And that's why I chose to put the face here. Now there's a bit of rough right there. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. But um, I've outlined the face in a different color. And um, I'll just go from there. This one might not have a long face. He's going to have more of a round face. And I might not put glasses on them, or I might. I, I don't know. This one I'll keep for myself. And then I have a bunch of little ones that I started. Little ones like this. I still have to paint. See, they are just stones. I have to still paint the back of these before I put faces on them. But the face is going to be simple. I have one that I have put a face on. It's a really tiny little stone. Whoop! I still have to paint the back of him. I haven't painted the back of him yet. But um, you can see 
the tiny little Santa. And then I've been putting on the faces of these guys, and I love these guys. And I know that kids will love them too. These are super, super fun to do. So I just, I just put the eyes on these guys. I hope you can see what, the light's not reflecting too badly, I don't know. So I'm going to do one here with you. I'm going to start off by just putting the yellow of the eyes on first. I'll do a few. I've got quite a few ready to go here. I'll just get the ones here that are all ready to be painted. Okay, so first I'm just going to put the eye on, or the eyes, and the Grinch's eyes are fairly close together. And they're sort of an oval shape. So I just do that first and let that dry. So I'll do the rest of these while I'm at it. These are a lot of fun to do, but they are quite time consuming. And I have a bunch of other things that I want to get to, so I'm anxious to kind of get this project done. This, uh, I think I'm going to send this Grinch to my son along with this Santa. So I just have to spray these two and then I can actually um, get that advent calendar finished up and in the mail. I have all the all the days wrapped except for three days. I haven't wrapped the socks because I haven't finished the second one. I'm almost finished and very close to finishing it and then I have to block the socks and then they can go in. This one has kind of a a nose. See here it has a ridge. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to put an eye on either side of that ridge and I'm going to use that as a nose. Having trouble with my paint here. You can let the oh and now when I put the second eye in, I can so see his face. It's funny how you can... You see? There will be a nose. This is the mouth and the chin down here. Sometimes the rock tells you I've said that before, and I know it sounds stupid, but it is true. Now, which way am I going to do this guy? I think I'm going to do him this way. This one, too. Put the eyes above this little thing here.
So all you need for these projects is some stones or some rocks and some acrylic paint. You could do all of this with acrylic paint that I'm doing right now and a fine brush or a toothpick. It'd do the same thing. I just happen to have these pens, so I'm using them. But, and, um, and a little bit of imagination. Actually, you need a lot of imagination sometimes to do some of these things. But um, totally fun. And if you make a mistake, you just paint over it and start again. That's the fun part of it. Okay, I'm going to let all that dry. And then I will... Um, I will do the rest. I'm just going to, while I got the camera on, I'm just going to take and fix the hat here. I don't always use a paintbrush. Sometimes I just use a Q-tip. Because with a Q-tip, you can make it look a little bit more textured especially for something like this. You can leave some of that paint, um, especially on a rock, because a rock isn't a flat surface and it textures quite easily with something like this. Like I did all of that the same way. I just blobbed it on like this. I might have to touch up the trim a little bit, but that's all right. So this fellow is almost done. I think he turned out pretty cute, actually. Considering it's just a stone. That's going to jump up the, the price of my... Um, Shipping, though, because it's quite heavy, that piece. So, what else can we do here? I think I can outline some of these hats. There's a couple hats here who need a black outline. After I place some of these nibs, they're getting a little... The rocks are kind of hard on the nibs. Actually, this black might actually even be getting a little bit on the empty side because I use it a lot. I wish they had refills for these, but I don't think they do. I think when they're done, they're done. They weren't expensive. I think I paid, oh, I don't know, maybe $20 for the whole set, 20 some dollars for the whole set, and there's 24 or 30 pens in there so it was a good deal and I've used them a lot you can get the really expensive ones but um, I I didn't I didn't go for the expensive ones I don't I don't really need them to be expensive just so long as they do what I need them to do I'm just going around. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going around and adding a little bit of black detail, just squiggling it on. It just makes the color pop a little bit better, I find. When I did this big Santa here, originally I went around, I went around this hat here, Santa's hat, I went around it with black too, but I didn't like it. It didn't, it didn't look right. So then I just um, decided to go around with the silver, and I think it looks a lot better with the silver than it did with the black. All right, this one needs a little bit of... I 
think I'm running out. No perfection needed here. It's a rock, a stone. So these eyes are probably dry, so I'm going to start to outline them. This pen is giving me trouble. The nice thing about this stuff is it takes very little time to dry. Darken this up a little bit. It's fun just to see what they're going to look like when they're finished because they seem to form their own little characters. Even though you're basically doing the same thing, they don't look the same. different and I think the rock shape has a lot to do with that well, this guy has sort of a cheek here so I'm going to take advantage of his sort of cheek and give him a big face I love these gnomes, or not gnomes, um, what are they? Grinches. Oh, this guy doesn't even have a, he doesn't have a Santa hat on yet. Oh, neither does this one. Better do that. So 
I'm better. So that is how I do these rocks. These little fellows here are just going to have two eyes. And a nose. a little Santa. So I'm going to sit here and finish all that I have painted because most of these Grinches are going to be going. I'm, I think I'll take them to the library and let the library and give them out to children. These were supposed to be snowmen and they will be when I get around to finishing them but right now my, my focus is just on this one. I want to get this completed and I don't know which one I should gift. I, I like this one, but I also like this one. I might send them two and then um, I can work on these other ones through the rest of the month of November. So I've really enjoyed this week playing around with those rocks. Um, I'm going to finish up all the little ones, the snowman and the little Grinches, and um, I'm going to get them all done. And probably by the beginning of December, I want to box them all up and take them to the library. And she can give them out to the children of the community because I know there's, there's all kinds of activities going on there in December. So that's a good opportunity for... Uh, for them to be distributed there so i'm really i'm really happy about that it's just something i mean they're just stones just rocks so um i think the kids will really enjoy them the other thing i wanted to mention is um the weight watchers is going really well uh, i lost two pounds after my first week and i'll be weighing in again tomorrow so i'm pretty sure i've lost another couple pounds i feel great i'm not hungry anymore that only lasted a week and um I'm inspired to just keep on going. So that's all working really well. I'm not suffering at all over this and uh, hopefully the end result will be what I want. And the other thing I want to mention is that um, vlogmas are going to start on December the 1st. I am busy setting up way over there in the corner um, my perfect Christmas scene. Um, I'm going to be do recording all my vlogmas over there in that little scene that I'm making. And I thought that I would incorporate a lot of my collections that I have. Um, I know I've mentioned here and there that I have a large doll collection. And I am in the process of getting rid of a lot of my dolls, but there are some that I will not get rid of. And so some of the most more special ones to me, I will bring up and I will include in this scene that I'm making. So that is gonna be starting, Vlogmas will start December the 1st, and it's going to take me a while to set that all up. I started already, but um, there's a lot of work to do here. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a video next week. But if not, for sure, I will see you on December the 1st for the very first Vlogmas. So here is the Advent calendar that I made for my son, Jonathan. It's going to be going out tomorrow as well. And we will be opening that up every day along with him not with him but he'll be opening it his way and we'll open it our way so that you will see everything that is in those packages so thank you for watching take care don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos if you want to do that and i will see you really soon bye for now so here's the pile of advent gifts there's 24 in all and I'm putting them all in this little bag here, which I got at the dollar store. It's just a little cloth bag with a drawstring, and I'm going to attach a card to it with instructions for him. And, um, yeah, I'm going to put that all in the box, and off it's going to go tomorrow. Or, no, Monday. Tomorrow. Yes, that's Monday. Yeah, so I'm really happy to have finished this project, and it just, 
I'm excited for him to start opening them. I know he's going to enjoy it. And I really enjoyed making this.